Hello, Kev Edwards, Tim Rally here. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, I am finally now all kitted out, all my safety gear. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I must admit, I'm not feeling too comfortable at the minute. Uh, I'm roasting already. Um, and uh, yeah, I've decided I'll give a stage a go and give it a little go and see what it's like to actually rally with all this gear on. Um, and then afterwards, I'll break down everything that I've got and what it's cost and how much everything's costing me so far. So before I pass out with heat exhaustion, with the heating on in the house as well, let's jump into a stage and see how it goes. Hello, so here we go. Um... Okay, this is going to be awkward because I can't put my headphones on. So, I've got them down by my belly there with no volume. Like, I can't hear the volume coming out of it, so I can have my speaker there. Um, so, I'm going to be playing this with no volume whatsoever. Uh, already, I can tell you, I am Three, really two, hot. Three, two, one, uh, go. I feel really restricted. Uh, yeah, it's a hands to face makes it quite, uh, quite a little bit like I can't, I can't put right, my head back because the hands are there. Yeah, I can, when I've got the seatbelt down, it's going to be even worse. The hands are by spit underneath the seatbelt. Yeah, I can stop you there. Oh shit. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, hopefully, I don't do that on my uh, first event, because that will suck. Yeah, that the hands, you, your seat belts fit over your hands device. In fact, I'll go through all that when I'm explaining like the gear and stuff. Yeah, uh, once I get through this stage. Three, two, uh, one, so go. I just need to watch. <laughs> let's go. Two left sharps, 50. Narrows of a bridge. 50. Right, minus four plus sharp. Four left minus 100. Four right minus four 100. Another thing that wouldn't go Four right. Narrows of a bridge. 50. Four left plus sharps. Need to watch my minus five minus sharp. Four left half block. 100. I tend to get more as we get away. Okay, one hundred. Yeah, I, I get warm quick anyway, so fixed up one by one hundred. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a chore. Four and eighty. One by Titans, one hundred and twenty. I've got like the cheapest of Five right sharp, 50. Four left plus sharp, narrows jump okay, 50. Four right plus sharp, watch through dip 100. Basic entry level overalls, you know, the white fair Black rest. Yeah. Okay, 80. Five right 100. Getting into the thousands for overalls, and I imagine now will be a lot more comfortable to wear a lot of dinner. So, as time goes on, we're all going to go to the bench in and we can obviously just replace your gear and there you go. Stop up on right 300. Get everything cheap to start off with and just replace the better, better gear. As 
easier to Two right plus so we'll 70. Some more things at a time. Unless you prefer to be fast. Five left plus Charlie, number press 80. Alright, 120. I'll be next to you, sweating your tits off. Five right sharp, 50. Left out to five, minus 50. Four left right to minus. Five right sharp, narrows of a bridge, 80. Care. Four left minus into early, four right plus sharp. Okay. <laughs> you can see, I picked at uh, a short stage. And that was that was the reason why, so I could get it done quick. <laughs> okay, um, jump out and I'll go through how much everything's cost and what I've got. Okay, so there is the list of stuff that I've got so far. Um, so, I started off with the Go Rallying Welcome Pack, which you've got to buy. That's got all your information. It's got like a disc and stuff in. I think I've done a video on that when I first got it. Um, yeah, so you need to get that first, and that gives you all the information you need to go and do your bars test and stuff. So, you get like uh, the list of all the places you can do your bars test, and a bit of a farce, to be honest, really. You're paying 100 quid for basically. 45 year old DVD or something like that and um, so I don't it's, to me it's a little bit of a farce you wouldn't really you can the videos that you get you can watch um on YouTube anyway but then you get your forms like your application forms and stuff that you need to take for your bars test with you so then after that once you've got that you go for your bars test and um, which I've done a video on that it's 195 for the bars test it might be different in other places but then you can incorporate it with like a rally day so um i have i done a rally day as well so i think it costs me around 350 quid or something yeah but that's for a full day's rallying as well but if you just want to do your bars test that's 195 quid uh, obviously after that was the next thing i got was the car i was looking in a car I think 2,200 for the car with a log book with harnesses in date and seats in date and fire extinguishers in date and all that was actually a bargain. I, I think that's a good price. I don't think you'll get it much cheaper than that. Uh, I think if you start going cheaper, you may be going into cars where um, you're going to have to replace stuff. You're going to have to. You might get one for 1,500 to two grand, but you might need to get new seats or harnesses or um all that palaver uh, so i think i got a really good deal there and uh, you could go cheaper and then build put your own stuff in you know there's so many different routes you can go down with a car some people might want to build their own car i just haven't got the time for it um next up was the helmet and the hands uh, with the hands hooks so i'll take this off so you can see um Okay, I'm gonna have to take it all off together. Oh my god. Okay, so there's obviously there's obviously a trick to that. Okay, so how the hands device works is it sits around your neck like that your seat belts come over and hold it down and hold it in place that keeps you um that keeps it solid these two little clips hook onto your helmet and what it's for is if if you have an accident that on your on your helmet stops your head going forward so a lot of sort of crashes without these if when you crash and your head flies forward like that that can cause like spinal injuries and stuff uh, if it's fast enough you'll probably your head will probably fall off so um th this is what this does that it stops your head your head only like moves forward a little bit it doesn't like separate from your neck so it's awkward horrible annoying 
but it does a, an important job to be fair um so yeah the i don't know yeah i bought this second hand um i'm wondering whenever the, i felt okay but am i saying that probably does need to be tight it's just a little bit tight around the neck um to get it on and off um yeah, i think we just need to tight hand a little bit um so yeah that's the hands device and how the hand device works um let's bang these back on so they're a little bit less uh, awkward for me um yeah the helmet was uh 350 quid <laughs> that's including the uh, hands device hooks so you need to make sure your helmet has got these hooks on you can buy them separate and stuff as well but uh, there was no point and it's also got a uh, built-in intercom as well which is actually a thing i haven't got yet um i need to buy uh, the intercom for this to plug into um which you can get from around 75 quid i think i can get away with it because the car might not be that loud and i've got a little uh, like a motorbike style one that come with it uh, which might do for now but i probably will i probably will pick one up before the event uh after they get paid because at the minute i've got no money whatsoever um so yeah that's the helmet 350 quid uh got everything you need intercom and uh hands device hooks as well um the gloves i went through that on the, the like the last video i was on for it um you don't need to have uh fia gloves i don't even think you need to wear gloves at all um it just says they're highly recommended so you can get away with it um but as i said in the last video i'd rather have them if i do need to get out you know if like there's you broken glass or stuff like that and you're trying to get out and you're trying to call you've gone on your roof and you glasses shattered and you're trying to climb out I, I, I think I'd rather have them uh, but they're going to take a bit of getting used to as well because um, yeah I, I, I like to be able to feel the steering wheel and stuff that's why I've never wore them in sim racing and I did say I was going to start wearing them in sim racing and I lasted about five minutes and was like ah fuck it can't be asked but I, I, I'm going to have to I'm just going to have to um, so next off is the overalls Um I said in the video there you know uh, these are like these are the cheapest you're going to get that are FIA approved um, but they are quite the quite a thick material um, comfortable like I think they'll be good like um, once you're actually racing but they need to be what's the spec FIA uh, there is a spec somewhere at something two five eight two thousand or something i can't remember um yeah but it is it's on there somewhere got like the stamp and all that um but they, these are like the cheapest i could get that are fia approved so they were like 242 quid the hands device i did get second hands i only paid 150 quid for that a uh, nice one for from tom delaney um for sorting me with that this is a, his old one that he's only wore a couple of times and then he bought himself a snazzy one which uh, i might have to do myself when i've got the money um yeah so but 215 quid uh you can get that for that was from like demon tweaks Van demon tweaks is really expensive but i got the overalls and that from there because they were uh, on a clearance sale so that's a good little tip you can do with try and find like clearance sales and stuff to get your gear uh, and shop different things because there was like N nicky grist motorsport that had some good gear but when i looked at helmets the helmet seemed really expensive there but other stuff seemed quite cheap so uh, you need to shop about to find what shops are doing their bits cheap and um do it that way yeah so at the minute that's where i'm at um 3351 altogether sounds a lot but that's over you know like i think i got the welcome pack 
over a year ago and then I'd done the bars in December uh, and then I've, all this stuff has been like the last month or so which has been a big hit but I say I wanted to take a big hit quick and then I can recover from it then uh, I know where I'm at uh, event wise I am thinking maybe Donington Three Sisters is on the 1st of March Three Sisters rally um, so that that would be ideal but I don't get paid in time to buy the uh, to pay the entrance fee so I'm going to have to weigh it up and see how much whenever to go deeper into my overdraft or not because when the event is on I would have been paid so it won't be too bad I'll have a bit of a bit of money again although I'll still have to recover from the overdraft which will take a month or so as well um, so I, I'm thinking maybe maybe three sisters but if not Donington but then Donington is like 300 quid so there's a big increase in uh, entry fee um, so yeah I need to decide and I still need ideally a spare wheel or two because I haven't got any spare wheels um, so I've been looking on eBay and I'm currently trying to put some bids in for some um, Alley Cat Alloy Wheels is what's on the car which is what I need so yeah I, I'm there I'm ready I've got everything I need but there's just a few little bits that I'd like extra uh, just to make it a little bit easier for myself uh, but yeah that's where I am now um so yeah hopefully uh hopefully march time i'll be doing my first event uh jan uh, my teammate from crest autosport might uh he's going in for his co-driver he's got really keen since i've started doing this um he's from belgium and he's like yeah i'll get flights over and i'll come and co-drive for you so uh hopefully enough i'll have a co-driver as well uh, flights are going to be like 50 60 quid they can keep keep on my couch so it'll be happy days um yeah so it's it's coming together it's it's getting closer and closer hopefully like why is that shutting down uh, hopefully this time next month i'll uh, around this time next month um i'll be doing my first event so if it's three sisters it'll be the first of march if it's donnington it's going to be around the 17th of march i think um, in fact as well i'll show you this website that i found because uh, this is really handy for events uh, so if anyone's like looking what events to go for and stuff uh, i shall get this um, i'm sure i saved it somewhere no uh, bookmarks okay so this uh, it's my motorsport so this has got all the events that are coming on in the next like year so you can put a uh, you can put like say march in there and then everything in march is listed and then if you go down it's got like links so this is the three sisters one first of march there got like your entry form all the regs and stuff click on it takes you directly to the website um so yeah <laughs> like three sisters is about 30 40 minutes from my house so that would be absolutely perfect uh, that way if the car breaks down it's not that far to get home <laughs> so uh yeah that is possibly possibly that that or where was the i think it was the 17th donnington no 15th or donnington rally which is a, a tad more expensive so yeah okay that's where i'm up to uh that's how much it's cost me and we're really close to getting on our first event as well so yeah uh, don't forget like subscribe to the video uh, any questions just drop them in the comments and i'll help you out as much as i can uh, any advice drop it in the comments because advice is like that's what i need because i'm going into this pretty blind without much help i'm just trying to figure it all out myself uh, although we did go to a motor club in wallacey on monday uh, so i'll be joining that motor club at some point and then 
I, I'll get information off there. There was already some guys who were really helpful in there for advice with scrutineering and stuff. So yeah, that's another thing you need to do. Join a motoring club. That's like seventeen quid a year for the Wallacey one. Um, so yeah, uh, don't forget like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. See you on next video. Yeah.